This is a quick overview of the Akashic Tarot by Sharon Ann Klinger and Sandra Ann Taylor. This is a deck I recently received and it is a tarot deck but it is not a typical um, based on any system that um, like Rider Waite or any other system. It's their own system that they have come up with including uh, 22 major arcana and 40 minors and there are four suits um, that's pretty much where the similarities um, end that there are a major minor and um, four suits everything has been changed um, the names are names that they have chosen in order to um, describe the energy of the the I think everything actually that they're trying to achieve is what they have uh, focused on. Um, they haven't actually taken bits and pieces of the Rider Waite and tried to fit their system into that system. They just have broken this up and put it together in a way that um, hopefully will make sense for you. I did. I have done um, a handful of readings and they are surprisingly accurate so I did want to do a quick run through here um, just to give you an idea because it is a, it's a different system um, takes a little bit of getting used to and you will need the guidebook so it is a um, Hay House deck and it does come in this nice sturdy box and it comes with a it's about a 210 page guidebook here and they do break down things very nicely. Um, the contents, their major, minor, arcana are listed. The suits are all listed right in the front. So if you do need to pull the card up quickly, instead of flipping through a book where you're not familiar with the suits or where the cards would be found very easily, just you know start in the front with the, the table of contents and um, you can easily get through a reading. <clears throat> and find the cards quickly that way. The suits are, I'm going to point them out here. The suits of the roses here are relationships and emotions, family life, personal life, that type of thing. Um, the suits of the scrolls are the world around you, communication, um, you know, interactions with people and um, Let's see. Represent manifesting of ideas into matter. So they have a description. So I would say go through. I'm actually reading from the little description here where it, it can go into depth for you. I'm just doing an overview here so you can kind of get an idea of how this deck is broken up. So the relationship and emotions are going to run through here, the five of uh, the roses suit. The scroll is going to be community around you. The keys are um, representative of wealth, values, abundance, careers, um, achievements. And then the forces are, you know, energy, consciousness, uh, natural law, um, spiritual so they and then actually the majors are right here too are made up of actually they have archangels and ascended masters running throughout the deck and then you're going to have um, a lot of different energy running through the majors that have to do with the etheric um, world give you an idea of what the, the, the majors can be easily denoted here because they do have the number on the top as opposed to the suit cards which have the name of the suit and then they have a keyword on, at the bottom so they all have keywords every card in the suit has a keyword along with the majors but the majors do have a number at the top
there are a lot of people in here. Um, <laughs> a lot of the imagery is kind of that Photoshop, CGI, whatever you want to call it, digital artwork. Some of the people are looking right at you. <laughs> and they are everyday people um, incorporated in here. Even the Ascended Masters could be everyday people. I think that is what they were going for. They want you to relate to this deck in a way where you could see this person not only as <clears throat> um, maybe an ascended person or somebody with wisdom and guidance and kind of a wizard type Merlin, um, but that you could actually see maybe uh, this person as your grandfather, as a father figure. Um, I think that's what they were doing. The people in here look like they could be, you know, from your your work environment, people that you would, everyday relationships that you might come across, your friends. Um, and this is just, I mean, he looks like somebody that you could, you would meet at the gym or maybe not. I mean, it just depends. And that's the connection, I think, that they're trying to um, provide with the images of the people that they've chosen because in no way have they tried to make these people look um, like angels or I mean with a with regard to the lighting maybe but that's probably um, th I don't think that was their intent I think the intent was to to kind of see these images that we uh, sometimes see as more of you know something that is not touchable they are trying to uh, bring into your life and into your consciousness as maybe these things could be happening in your everyday surroundings that was just a quick run through of the majors and what the keywords were and what they look like and what the people some of the people look like um, Okay. I mean the 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 imagery is really pretty. It's not that it's it can be uh I guess a little bit off-putting to some people who are not fans of the type of um you know, Photoshop kind of, they, like this table and chairs look like they've been just dropped in here into a field or into a, uh, um, into the middle of what looks to be, you know, there's an angel hovering over top. It, um, they don't seem to um, make any sense when you first run through this, and I think you are going to have to tap in to some of your um, some of your intuition and then some of their meanings in the book and see what you come up with. Scrolls. I know that doing a reading with these cards does bring about a different energy than just going uh, through the cards like this in a way where you're just getting an idea and a quick overview. You do have to sit down with them. You have to put them into a spread. Um, they do encourage you to take each of the cards and sit um, in a meditational process, you know, where you can kind of go into the card, um, pick out what it means to you, how does it resonate with you, the people that it brings up for you, because as you see the cards over and over again, those things are going to be triggered for you. So it's definitely tapping in to your own experiences and what these cards might hold for you and what they might bring out for you. This um, suit, the forces, is more the spiritual suit. Um, okay. 
and some of the spreads there are actually okay. Um, two pretty good sized spreads. You know, they have the one card and the three card um, that you can use past, present, uh, future, mind, body, spirit, any of those types. And then there's the pyramid spread, which is very in interesting. And I like the, um, actually I did this one a few times. And um, there's a central card in this spread called the King's Chamber. Um, and, you know, that ends up being what the foundation is built upon and how everything else kind of works around it. So it, it does explain that. And I think that's an actually, uh, a, if I was going to um, recommend, I would say start with that spread and see what you get. Just gives you an idea of how the cards will work. And there's something here called the Wheel of Life like a very full on um, in-depth spread showing 12 houses um, with the path of life and it's, it's very deep so that is the Akashic Tarot and that's just a brief overview of what you can expect to find in the deck and with the imagery and I would like to say that I did find it very powerful so I um, I recommend if you were thinking um, of trying something out of the norm this is a whole new tarot system so if you are interested in something like that definitely give it a try